Welcome to take five of the Four Texas Sisters video. That's four T E X A S S I S T E R S dot com for our blog or four T X Sisters dot com at our Etsy store. Please be sure to check us out on Facebook and subscribe, subscribe to subscribe, blah, blah, uh, to our blog here on YouTube. I guess that would be vlog. Our so blog. We're yes. just here hanging out at Mother's again, and Jennifer's going to share some goodies with us today. Yeah. Greetings, greetings. Um, earthlings. Actually, yes, the earthlings. Greetings, earthlings. Um, actually, I wanted to... Where'd you go? Okay. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I wanted to show you something that, that Sherry has done. And... Um, and then I'm going to show you something. I'm actually going to show you something that you can do with your T-shirts. Um, that that. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, we know what happens to this T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And I'm kind of holding off here because Deb's gone to go get her. She was not prepared. Uh, uh, yes, I didn't and anyway, we do make a lot of things. Okay, I um, didn't bring it. Sorry. Yeah, you did. I I have it somewhere. Um, anyway, okay. Nothing like organization. Yeah, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Start all over. Huh? Look, look. No, no, no. no. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. Still Start going. Over. Still going. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say that word then. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, my Lord. Sherry, tell us about this process. She, she made each of us and our mother, who's sitting over here drinking her tea, um, say hello, mother. Hello. <laughs> okay, Sherry, tell us tell us how you did, or tell us what tell you, a little bit about the process. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, this was really my first set of t-shirts that I did iron-ons for, um, and what I did was I used a die cutting machine. I use a Cricut, but certainly everybody um, you know has their own. Um, there's the silhouette and the brother scan and cut. So I'm not going to give anybody any particular time, but Usually, basically, just use that to create the designs, and um, made one for everybody that kind of fit their personality. Debbie mm -hmm. does a lot of stitching on embroidery work. She does a lot of um, quilting things like that. You're you're hard to see what it says here. There we go. Um, so I gave her the measure twice, cut once, stitch, curse, rip, and repeat. So giving her permission to say curse. those words. Curse, curses. <laughs> she was doing that yesterday. That's what you said. Yeah, she so, was doing that. Anyway, okay. this is a fairly simple process. Once you get the the uh, desired cut, then you just iron it on according to the directions. It's it's really not tough. This was one of my first layering projects. That is a little bit tricky. Mother's was extremely tricky since it had a lot of layers on a rooster. Yeah, rooster feathers. So. Um, okay. Jennifer's was yeah, really I'm fun. Show you, show you mine, because and I, I got to use talk a really to you about mine. A really fancy. Um, I want wow. to. I think we need to put some stones, some rhinestones on this. What do you think? No, no. I, I, you do whatever you want to with it. You might want to get the string off of it while you're oh, showing. Please, you know. it came from but my house. Anyway. <laughs> Um, this one was a little fun because all, all of this had to be stacked in as well. This is not just one die cut. It was, it was at least wow. two and each of those, some of those fell off of the original backing. And I was really surprised that it didn't, didn't hold up better than that. Um, but yeah, I got them in there, set them in there. This was my grand... Um, <clears throat> farm hair, I don't care, because Mother's always complaining about her hair. Um, and, uh, this is what I was talking about as far as the stacking and, um, having to do more than one, because you cannot, if you decide you're going to do iron-ons, you have to layer them on there. You have to be careful, certain ones, if they're, um, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. glittery, you cannot stack on top of glitter. Hmm. Um... And you cannot use as much time on the iron ions as you build up, so it, it, it is a little bit tricky. Um, but I thought it was fun. Uh, probably the hardest part was just coming up with something for everybody. Now, now these are new t-shirts, but I want to take a minute here and show you real quick what you can do with your old t-shirts. Is that okay? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, let's play like this is an old t-shirt. 
Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut it here. Okay, right across here. All right? Okay. Okay, and you're going to stitch it. Dang, yeah, I think is camera up high enough? Yeah, we're watching. We're, he's yeah. good. <laughs> we're, we're good. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna cut it here and trim that away. That goes to scrap or whatever you want to do. And then down here, we're going to draw a line with your marker. I use soap uh, because it's easy, it's cheap, and you know washable. what? It's washable. I'm gonna draw a line here, and then I'm gonna zigzag a stitch like a huge buttonhole, okay? If you can imagine what a buttonhole looks like. Just huge from just going around that that um, line that I created. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to draw another line about the same distance, do the same thing, do a little zigzag, a couple of times maybe, and then I'm gonna cut down the center, right? Solidly. You with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, yeah, yes. okay. Yes. Okay, and then, and, and I'll show you what it's going to be in a minute. Then you're just going to take your cutter, rotary cutter, and you're going to start cutting lines all through here to your, your curve point that you sewed up. And what you end up with is a laundry bag. Okay. Right. Here's your handles. That's the bottom of the T. Okay. And that's the top part. Minus the sleeves and the neck. Minus the sleeves and the neck. And I just came through with a cutter. It takes about 45 minutes to do this. And then you have a, a travel laundry bag. Which or you could use it as a grocery it. bag. You could use it as any kind of bag. And it's a great use for an old t shirt. That's there incredible. you go. Awesome. Isn't that cool? That was very cool. I've made three so far for Deb, and she's carried them all home and never returned any of them. This well, is the I'd, last one. I'd, and she I think she's it. smart. Yeah, she I'm not very I won't let her use this. <laughs> now, this actually was, um, I don't remember what this was. Uh, some kind of paint? Yeah, some sort of paint t-shirt. And if you had a... Um, a t-shirt that you wanted to keep, then you might want to sew it to where that's going to show on the outside. But that, you know, doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. So anyway, thanks for being with us today and visiting with us. Don't forget, as Sherry said at the beginning, 4TXSisters.com. That's our shop site. We have a blog over at 4TexasSisters.com, all spelled out. We're on Facebook, and we're vlogging over on YouTube under 4TexasSisters over there. Thanks for being with us. Peace. We're out of here.